but that's what you wrote. You said here, my lord, that the defendant has now applied for bail. Now, as I said earlier, bail is a limitation of the of the court taking into consideration all the conditions laid down in uh, in Muhammad Abacha v. State. At this stage, I am of the opinion that to make that to make or take a stand on the bail application without first hearing and determine the issue that is glaring in the in the face, which is the absence of the defendant from the court since 25th of April 2017 until he was produced on the 29th of June. My Lord, which was exactly what the Supreme Court did. They said that he did not jump bail. These criminals came to my house to kill me. That's what the Supreme Court said. This is in your own building, in your own court, my Lord. So I cannot understand, my Lord, why my trial will be conducted contrary to the Constitution of Nigeria that said I must have free and unfettered access to my to my counsel. It's here. This is the law of Nigeria. Terrorism Prohibition and Prevention Act says I cannot be tried in Nigeria. That's the law of Nigeria. Yes. Yes. I can never be tried in any court of law in Nigeria. That's what the law says. Anybody standing in trial or coming to try me is a terrorist. That's what their law says. Not me. As simple as that. Section 2, subsection 3F of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act. That's what it says. Any court considered to try me is committed an act of terrorism. Yes. It's very clear. Absolutely. You cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and then come to try that very person. It's not done anywhere in the world. So, so you must be aware of that. So that is why there is all these ridiculous delays. That is what Supreme Court said. I did not jump bail. My home was invaded. They came to kill me and I survived. They came to Kenya to kidnap me, brought me back to this country and seeking to try me, which the law says cannot happen. You cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and then hope to stand on that illegality to conduct a trial is not done anywhere in the world. And what happened in my case? Nobody has, there's no exception. No exception whatsoever. That's what the law says. Section 12 of the Constitution, what does it say? Any treaty ratified by Nigeria becomes law. It's law. You cannot change it. It doesn't matter what they do. All these shenanigans is just pure rubbish. You never stand. Not with me. Okay. I believe in justice and fairness. That's all. Nigeria signed to a state by not to condition. We are not the one bringing violence to Nigeria state. Rather, Nigeria aggression must be responded with aggression. That aggression is self-defense.